Dinner for shoes, please. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Dinner for Shoes. Um, so I have to stop saying um at the start of every episode, but it's just like I sit in front of the camera and I start recording and then I'm like, what am I doing here again? <laughs> anyway, uh, today our episode is called Sunday Fun Day and Swift's Season. Now, this if you haven't already guessed, is going to be on the topic of Taylor Swift, football, what people wear to Sunday fun day. I, when I do go out, go out in Hoboken for a Sunday fun day. Um, I actually have only really been to like two Sunday fun days in my life, but um, hopefully more. And I don't know really what to wear to them. The truth is that I don't like football. I don't understand it. I've tried to understand it. I've had people try to explain it to me. I do get it. I just think that it's boring and I'd much rather watch soccer or hockey. I I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of football. Hate me, but I wonder if Taylor Swift felt the same way before she started dating Travis Kelsey. So basically, um, we're going to talk a little bit about my love-hate relationship with football, what I will wear when I do go to a Sunday fun day. And then we'll also talk about like how what I'm eating today, which if you didn't already figure it out, it's an ice cream sundae. Uh, How that relates to like my love-hate relationship with football. And yeah, Uh, let's start with the outfit behind the shoes and of course the shoes themselves. Um, so I kind of actually brought Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey because we're really going to be focusing on their fashion today. We're going to very quickly disregard football, even though this episode is supposed to be about football. We're going to take it. We're going to chuck it into the field goal and say goodbye football. We do not care about you. But we're going to talk about like what Taylor's been wearing to Travis Kelsey's games. And, um, yeah. And so because of that, I dedicated a couple of my like clothing items to each of them Taylor and Travis um and the shoe is definitely more of like a Travis shoe I would say I feel like he would really like this shoe just based on the research the the recent research I've done on what he wears and you know his style these are the Adidas torsion sneaker and they're actually from a collaboration with the simpsons which is why they're so cool and they're like crazy colored lots of texture there's really like fleece material on the heel here um they kind of look like a hamburger like subtly which is just cool because i feel like that kind of goes with ice cream and an ice cream sundae and like football food and you know i just I liked that. And then my silk cargo pants, these are actually from Topshop and they come with a little matching um, like bralette that's also satin. I love these. I love like the uh, strings, the the sashes that kind of fall off of the cargo pant. I think they're so comfortable and so cool. Um, But I think these are also more of a Travis look based on his style. And then I've got the other pieces for Taylor. Uh, Oh, also, I guess the fact that I'm wearing no makeup today is for Travis because I feel like he wears no makeup, but Taylor's got like her signature red lip. Could have done that, but to be completely honest, it's a sporty day. I'm tired. I actually ran 20 miles this morning because I am training for the New York City Marathon and I just, I don't want to put on makeup today and that probably will happen during a lot of episodes because I'm lazy um and so I put on some Vaseline on my lips and I said sorry Taylor you 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 keep the ownership of that red lip hun so anyway I uh these pieces though are more Uh, geared towards Taylor. So I've got this praying little bralette on that I swapped out for the uh, Topshop, obviously satin bra. You said you wouldn't and you fucking did. And I just feel like those could be lyrics out of a Taylor Swift song, right? I actually really respect Taylor. I think that she is one of the greatest lyricists of our generation and I love her, but this is a praying little tank and it's kind of like a play on the fact that Taylor has a lot of emotions, which brings me to my Ghani, uh, 
charm bracelet. It's got a heart. It's got a smiley face. It's got a butterfly. It's got a little pendant that says Ghani. There are cherries. There's a Irish clover. Um, yeah, and I just, it felt tailor to me. It felt cute and quirky. You could also wear it as a necklace, but I'm wearing it as a bracelet. So that's my outfit today. And I felt like I was, you know, I wasn't going to dress up like a football player, right? Could have, could have done that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think Kit and Trish approved and so we're going with it and, and we, and we feel good about it. So this past Sunday, I went to a Sunday fun day and I told myself that I was going to ask different people that I saw throughout the day, did, did Taylor Swift and what she's been wearing to Travis Kelsey's Chiefs games, did that influence your outfit today? And I asked one person and it was a guy and he was wearing a turtleneck and I was just like, Taylor loves cardigans, knits. Did you, you know, decide on this because of Taylor Swift? And he looked at me like I was crazy. So I stopped doing that and I just wore my own outfit with confidence. What I wore was actually a pair of IMG, uh, like, uh, sporty, tr uh, they're, they're like track pants. Uh, but they also were very like two thousands, I would say. Um, and they were cute and I wore them like a little white cropped baby tee and my oversized denim jacket from frame. And yeah, we, I had a day and I, I felt, I felt good and confident and like I belonged at Sunday fun day, but little did everyone know I hate football. So anyway, that's, that's the way that um, I spent my Sunday fun day. And now I, before we bring in my ice cream Sunday, which is going to be great. And I think that we're going to also like talk about Taylor and Travis together as I indulge in my ice cream Sunday. But before we bring it in, I'm going to explain a little bit about why I picked what I picked and um, why like that's my, my meal of choice. So I chose to go for three different flavors from three different brands, ice cream brands that people love. And they're all flavors I've never tried before, but they get a lot of hype. I asked my boyfriend what Ben and Jerry's flavor to try. And he said something about like cinnamon cone or something cone. Well, they didn't have that. I actually am forgetting right now all the flavors. I think I got the Netflix and chill one from Ben and Jerry's because I've heard that one's really good and it looked like it was right up my alley. So I got that one. And then I got a haagen flavor, I think. I really need to check on this and I'll like be back with the Sunday. But I got these three different flavors, right? And the, my, my like interpretation of it is I don't really care about who's playing whom when football's on the TV. But I do like to know, oh, is this team good or bad? Who's the underdog? I've always been like into the underdog. And then also I love as a fashion person to be like, this team playing this team is so aesthetically pleasing because I love these colors together. That's my favorite part of watching football. And so I feel like we've got these three different brands of ice cream, right? Representing three different teams, all of which I don't like. Although ice cream, is it, it's ironic because ice cream is my favorite dessert. But still, three different things I haven't tried before, just like football is a new thing I haven't tried before, right? And I'm gonna try them, just like I'm trying football. And then, you know, we'll get into like the, the deep Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey um, analyzation of their outfits and what they wear and who they are when they're off duty when Taylor's not in her uniform which is like her era's costumes and Travis is not in his football uniform his Chiefs uniform and we're gonna yeah that that's basically the way that it all goes together and I hope that you enjoy I'm gonna get up and get my Sunday now I did want to leave Kit involved for as long as possible but I think she might be excited about the Sunday I'm not really sure so we will we'll see when we bring it on over okay so I was thinking about um 
doing the sundae and then bringing it over here but I thought it would be more fun if we like made it together so I have my ice cream scooper and um, I have my little baby spoon because I love little baby spoons so now I remember what each of the the different flavors are and the the teams so we've got haagen -Dazs. Um, I think haagen is like the mid team I would guess like they are probably like maybe like the nine seed okay and then like is seeds a thing? Like, are seeds football or is that just basketball? I don't know. But Hagen dazs and then we've got Netflix, which is like the number one. Like, they are, no one can beat them. Like, maybe the Patriots when Tom Brady was on them? Maybe? No? I don't know. And then we've got, this is like really embarrassing. I hope no one hates me for not knowing anything about football. And then we've got Halo Top because I wanted to mix in like something kind of healthy because Halo Top does get a lot of hype and like, I just wanted to try it. So those are my three teams. I know that generally football is like two teams playing each other. That at least I know. But we're just going to go with the three just for the sake of like I, when I pictured this ice cream sundae being all together in the little glass, which I probably shouldn't be touching. I pictured like three separate scoops. So it is what it is. Halo Top, I chose chocolate mocha chip. Now, this flavor I've actually never tried, but this is would be right up my alley like I'm actually excited to try this and potentially bring it into like my every night nummies um and no one's really said like oh this is the best halo top I've, flavor I've ever had so I don't want to like say that this is something that people are you know gushing over but this is the worst team so it doesn't really matter it's like this is like the team when like you have a fantasy league and like you just you picked last or you were on vacation which happened to my boyfriend and so the the uh the system that like does the draft like picked for him oh that's like halo top okay and then Ben and Jerry's, I got Netflix and chilled because this seemed something like I would really like peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. I love all of those things. And also I just like, everyone knows I love peanut butter. Trader Joe's used to have the best nut butter that they discontinued. And I like, it was a thing. I like wrote to Trader Joe's. I was like, bring this back. They didn't listen. But I just think that all of these things together are like, totally right up my alley and also wanted to bring it into my life so that I could finish the Beckham, Beckham go soccer, <laughs> so that I could finish the Beckham um, documentary on Netflix with this little guy, Netflix and Chills. And then, okay, haagen is Rocky Road. Now, my mom loves Rocky Road and I think it's just vanilla Gooey swirls of marshmallow, roasted almonds, and rich chocolate ice cream that isn't rocky. It's paved with deliciousness. Okay, well, that does. So these are my three flavors, and I'm excited to try them. Um, let's let's try them, and then let's go into the whole Taylor versus Travis thing. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, there is something that I forgot to put on top of my ice cream, which I'm going to get. But let me just serve first. People are texting me and I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb, but that's podcasting newbie um, issues. Oh, I also do that. Oh, uh hum. -huh. Whoops. No one else is going to eat these pints of ice cream. Yeah, this Netflix one looks right up my alley. No, honey. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. You don't like this. She does. Mm. Mm hmm. Sorry, I couldn't wait. I love ice cream so much. So whose team are you on? Okay, stop. Enough, enough. Mom's gonna put you, yep, yep. Be right back. While we were putting away Kit, I realized the final thing that I need to put on top of my ice cream, which we'll get to, but um, yeah, you could just tell when something's like not real ice cream, this Halo Top. Oh man, yeah. Oh, but that was a good looking Sunday. Okay, so... These are my teams, and I'm going to try them now. Okay. I'm going to try each one. Oh, so just because Taylor Swift loves all things fall, and it's football season, and fall is football season, and make it all fall, and throw it together, Cardi B, so I got these sent, this sent to me, this whip shots. It's vodka-infused whipped cream, and it's pumpkin spice, okay? And it's 
10% alcohol by volume, which I don't know what that means, but This team is not coming out strong. <laughs> what is happening? This is what generally happens to me when football is involved. Team that's not playing today. All right, so first we're starting with the Halo Top. This is the chocolate mocha chip, and I do want to try it separately from, you know, the, the rest of the ice creams. Mmm, mmm. Okay. So yeah, this is great. I feel like it's good for, you know, being healthier ice cream. But um, when oh, you eat a really healthy ice cream, it's almost got this like weird texture that like feels like it's less like creamed all together, but more like separated, less creamy, you know, and that I'm getting that. But now we're jumping into the Rocky Road. Oh my God, this looks good. Wait, nope, this is a Netflix and chill. This is a Netflix and chill. Wow, wow. That's my favorite. There's a lot of brownie and there's something about the texture of this ice cream. You just, it's really, really like, uh, creamy and almost the consistency of a brownie while also being ice cream at the same time, even though then there are also brownie pieces on top of that. So interesting. All right, and now we're getting into the Rocky Road. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the Rocky Road's my favorite. Here's the thing. haagen is, has always been my favorite ice cream. I used to go when I was a little girl and I used to get um, half and half. Uh, half of the Java chip or the coffee chip and half of the chocolate chocolate chip. And I'm a chocolate girl through and through. And I just, there is something about haagen ice cream. It is so smooth. The complete opposite of Netflix and chill and definitely the opposite of Halo Top. And that Rocky Road is unbelievable I was not expecting to like that whatsoever that's like the nine seed if seeds are a thing in football that like ends up like upsetting the number one seed or the number two seed and winning I mean that is top notch I love that and I feel like that's also gonna kind of go with my general like overall gist and point of this episode, which when we're talking about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, the answer is stay in your opposite lanes. Like you're kind of different, like keep things what they are and what they should be. Rocky Road and haagen -Dazs. haagen -Dazs should always be the best. I don't know if Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are trying to kind of coordinate their style at this moment. I don't know if they're doing that. It doesn't appear that they're trying hard, just like it doesn't appear that I'm trying hard to understand football, which is true. But let's get into it a little bit. Okay, so I have some notes here that I took because I did, I took some screenshots of some pictures that I've seen of Travis and of Taylor, okay? So let's start with what Taylor has been wearing a lot of lately. Since she's been in New York taking this break from her Eros tour, she's been wearing a lot of, um, New York brands. She's been wearing the row. There's this really like cool chunky knit she wore. She's been wearing Brandon Blackwood. I love Brandon Blackwood. I love this little structural bag she wore. Still here in New York. These denim shorts, right? She's been wearing a lot of Ralph Lauren too. Um, she has a Ralph Lauren bag. I think she has this um, Ralph Lauren corduroy baseball cap. Now the first game she was ever spotted at with with Travis's mom right and everyone was freaking out freaking out about what she was wearing of course um all of her fans go crazy trying to figure out like oh is what she's wearing like is that signifying something is that saying something you know and actually th at the very first game that she attended for Travis where people were freaking out she was wearing this Louis Vuitton camera box bag 
And what's so funny is she's been wearing it consistently. She's in this like kind of sporty era now. She wore it again with biker shorts. She actually wore it before that too with like this mini skirt and these taller boots and a one shoulder black top. But it looks like a bodysuit. But it's interesting that she wore this Louis Vuitton bag to Travis's game because Travis loves Louis Vuitton. He wears it all the time over you can see on his feed like he wore this denim on denim look interesting what I was interested in is that all denim for Travis looks like this Louis Vuitton co-ord set and all denim for Taylor is like this she wore this EB denim like little skater dress to the VMAs after party so it is very different the way that they're doing denim. I mean, they both kind of have like this like patchwork situation going on, but Travis is just very like sleek and logified and Taylor's more like, you can get my look. It's like a little accessible, which I love that she wears accessible brands because she has so many fans that do want to wear what she's wearing. And I think that's great. Um, now, okay, just to talk about another denim Taylor moment, she wore this oversized EB denim jacket with this talk about like an attainable brand or a brand that a lot of people are familiar with at least reformation she wore a reformation red dress and reformation boots and this actually struck me as a little bit more travis because he tends to really like the oversized silhouettes and i thought that was interesting now when it comes to like suiting Travis wore this great, like right off the plane, this like great Gucci suiting moment, his polo, uh, this ribbed, like tight fit polo. He looked great, a pair of white sneakers to go with it. We don't see a lot of suiting from Taylor, but one Taylor moment that is sort of recent that, um, uh, that reminded me of that look is her appearance on Fallon. And this was actually at the end of 2022, it looks like, but it's this Dorothy Shoemaker, Schumacher? Dorothy Schumacher um, look and it's like a head to toe three piece set with this like busy kind of uh, chevron graphic 3D looking print. I thought that was cool and very different from her for her. Um, I think that's probably before she was dating Travis obviously but I just wanted to compare a suiting moment. And then if you look at like when Taylor wore Louis Vuitton on the red carpet the one of the recent examples that I found was at TIFF and she wore this like it was like this gold disc um, draped. There, there were like draped um, like ribbons of these gold discs that kind of acted as sleeves. It was very glamorous um, with her straight across bangs, her nice sleek blonde hair. And I just thought like that's so different than the way that Travis wears Louis Vuitton, which seems to be more like, oh, like his cardigans with the logo and the denim on denim. Um, and, you know, he'll have like, a Louis Vuitton bag or something like that. So I just found that to be interesting, but it did kind of remind me of a recent look that he posted where he was kind of, it was like a Western moment. It was very like casino um, to me. And he was wearing this J. Logan Horn like button down. It had like cool gold in it that kind of harkens back to Taylor's dress. And then he's got like these Amiri wide leg pants and um, a pair of white boots as well. And I just thought that like that was, it kind of, it, it, it had that same like ornate glamour sort of thing going on as Taylor's Louis Vuitton look. So the, I mean, that could be possible. I still think that the craziest connection is probably just that Taylor's been wearing her Louis Vuitton bag to his games and like all over the city. Cause it's just funny. It's like, you know, he loves Louis. You love Louis Vuitton. Okay. Um, also Blake Lively has the same bag and wore it out with Taylor and Sophie Turner when they went to dinner. Interesting too. And, and Blake, accompanied Taylor to one of Travis's games. It's all, it's all adding up. And Louis Vuitton is the tie that ties it all together. And yeah. Also just cutting in to acknowledge the fact that Taylor and Travis have stepped out together. And lo and behold, Taylor Swift was wearing the Louis Vuitton boots that cement them as a potential Louis Vuitton couple. She was wearing the Star Trail boots. Um, she was wearing this with a leather miniskirt, um, a Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, mesh top, which I think actually speaks to Travis's love of prints. I'm not saying she chose it for that reason, but it was a sheer mesh top, almost like a tattoo sleeve mesh top. Thought it was really cute. Um, and I liked how she wore it together. Very tailor. 
Um, she wore it over a Balenciaga strapless corset and she wore um, just some diamond cuff earrings and was really simple about the whole thing. Uh, her mini skirt was by Kate and it featured a zipper, um, patent leather just to draw back attention to those Louis Vuitton boots. The only other thing I will say is I don't know what Taylor's trying to say with these like studded embellished denim shorts she keeps wearing to Travis's games. I'm like, are you saying he's your rock? Are you saying that you want him to give you a rock? What are these rock stud shorts? She wore these area ones. And then she also wore these uh, Kazubi ones that were black and like distressed. And I'm just like, what are you trying to say by these rocks? Right. Anyway, um, the, the other thing that I find interesting and kind of just like maybe Taylor's like she's ready for her football moment is just. One is that she wore this this one legged jumpsuit on her Eras tour, right? Well, it's this like cat suit. It's it's part of her uh, reputation, like era when she's performing at the concert, and it reminded me of this exact one legged cat suit that Carrie Underwood wore to tease her like NBC getting ready for football. She really is the face of like Sunday Night Football, right? So I just was like, oh, Taylor's having her like Carrie moment, and then just to talk more about country stars, because it goes hand in hand, she recently wore this oversized graphic t-shirt with Shania Twain on it. And I mean, she wore it with her Louis Vuitton bag and biker shorts. So I found that to be interesting too. When I was going a little bit further back into Travis's style history, I found it very interesting that like when he hosted SNL, he wore a cardigan. We know Taylor and her cardigans. Um, I loved his his look to to tease his SNL episode, but it's very interesting because when Taylor teased um, her most recent appearance on SNL, she was wearing all black, very simple, had her red lip, but it was like classic Taylor while doing quiet luxury almost. It was interesting. Um, the one like tough Louis Vuitton look that she's worn that kind of reminds me a bit more of Travis's Louis Vuitton style is when she performed with Haim um, on stage, but she was wearing, to be fair, like these outfits that they kind of all put together and they were supposed to be like representing, I think like Haim the band and not necessarily Taylor and her style. Um, but I did think that was interesting. And then some more similarities that I'm gonna go through here just because I wanna give the people what they want. I want everyone to think that Travis and Taylor are stylishly in sync, even if they're not. Um, I loved that <laughs> Travis had this like cozy as fuck moment where he's wearing this like knit tie dye sweatsuit with Timberland boots and this puffer jacket. And it totally reminded me of, and of course they weren't together at this point and didn't even probably know each other, but this look that Taylor wore during um, quarantine during COVID and she made the caption big isolation. And I just thought that that was really interesting. Um, yeah, th those, those two looks just kind of reminded me of each other. Um, Anyway, I also think that when Travis does do rainbow, and we know he does like oversize a lot, but when he does rainbow, um, I also thought it was interesting that he made the caption of this outfit, fell in love with the dancer. Um, it's a kid, kid super uh, furry jacket, but this rainbow moment kind of reminded me of like Taylor's lover phase, which is actually when I think that she wore more looks that were more on par with like Travis, more like street style-y moments and kind of just a little bit more relaxed about her style. Okay, but so if that got your wheels spinning and I mean, that's just one random little, um, you know, matchy matchy moment that I came across, which is probably completely wrong. Um, Travis was pictured about three weeks ago when Taylor first attended his game in this kid super set. It's called the bedroom painting set. It's the exact same color blue as Taylor's 1989 album cover. And it marked the first time they were pictured together um, after the game in a car together after the game. And everyone's saying that he he wore this set because it's the same color as the background of Taylor's album. And so Kid Super as a brand renamed the set the 1989 bedroom painting set. Now, it literally says in the caption they can't 100% confirm that that's the reason why he wore it. But this just goes to show you that 
we are going to continue to make these connections when it comes to Tavis. Basically, to sum it up, I am undecided about whether or not they're trying to be stylishly in sync. But I, what I do know is that I think Taylor should keep her, st- her style to her. And Travis should keep his, his style to him. Of course, we can reference the first time that we ever saw Travis and Taylor step out together, which was after their uh, SNL cameo. Uh, Travis made a cameo and they went to an after party together. And Taylor wore this Gant um, menswear checked coat. Uh, loved that. Yet another New York City brand. Um, she was wearing a satin Versace corset top which struck me as very like late Saturday night esque a little bit of the quiet luxury there but then she's got her prep going on and her signature red lip meanwhile Travis is kind of staying in his own lane there with his you know um textured jacket and it's got like a cool bird print on it brown pants he he seems to be doing his own thing and I'm really happy for that I am I think that they should keep to their own looks and I think it will be cuter that way I don't think they should try to coordinate just based on some of the research that I did and that does remind me of my love for haagen and like I don't think I should try to replace my true loves and my true classics I've always loved haagen ever since I was little and I, I think it's so funny that like, of course, that's what I'm going with. That's the best. This rocky road, like, who knew, you know? Um, anyway, I guess at the end of the day, I'm probably never going to like football. I'm probably never going to be interested in it. I probably am going to be interested in what Taylor wears to Travis's games. I probably will ask someone else at Sunday Fun Day maybe next week or the week after did Taylor Swift's game day style influence yours I probably will I'll probably get laughed at again um and I'll probably eat all three pints of this ice cream tonight so with that being said thank you for watching another episode of dinner for shoes I hope you enjoyed I hope you're not mad at me for not loving football I want you to like this video I want you to subscribe I want you to comment and shit on me for not liking football I want you to tell me if you think that Travis and Taylor are going to continue coordinating their looks or making little style references to each other right that's what I want you to tell me so yeah have a nice Sunday fun day